Hey guys, Farm Boy Reef here. So on today's episode, I'm going to talk about the Harlem shrimp. The Harlem shrimp is a shrimp that eats starfish. Um, in your reef tank, you get these little starfish. They're white. You ever see them? Now, sometimes they're missing a leg, but they're a little white starfish. They're called asterisk uh, starfish. Um, I have a few in my tank, and I want to start getting rid of them. Uh, I don't trust them. I know it's like there's some good ones and some bad ones. There's pink ones and there's brown ones. Um, so what happens is these little starfish will eat around, like, you know, your hammer corals and stuff like that. It'll eat the flesh around the bottoms of your uh, corals, like your hammers or your torches, and eventually can kill them. Um, so what I do is I get a little Harlem, little Harlem shrimp here. He loves to eat starfish. So I'm going to put him in my 220 gallon. He's going to be all by himself, so there'll be a, a bunch of supply for him to keep eating, so he'll survive. But if you don't have snails, or not snails, uh, starfish in your tank, uh, he will die. So, but some guys do is they buy like a big, uh, like a chocolate chip starfish or a certain starfish, and they actually feed them to them in their tank because if there's only one, he will survive, survive on it. So, he'll help with like pest control. So, if you have all these little starfish you want to get rid of, he's what you're going to get. So, I'm going to just demonstrate a little video here. I went and I got some a uh, couple little starfish out of my tank upstairs, and I'm going to put the video down on him, and we're going to see if he'll eat it on video for us to check him out. He's pretty cool, and they're very, uh, they're not scared of anything. Like, you put them in your tank. They'll stand up to anything. Like they take over a certain little territory area where they like to eat, and it's really awesome. So there's good for keeping these little starfish under control. Um, yeah. So if you ever see like your starfish on the glass, those ones, and you ever see like there's a limb missing, that means it's segmented, and it's actually the, that limb is growing another starfish. And it doesn't take much time for these little starfish to slowly keep, you know, keep multiplying in your tank and start taking over. It's okay to have a couple, but man, when you have too many, it's not good. And plus, I don't trust them in my tank, and I want to try to eradicate them if I can with this little guy. So that's my plan here. And these are really good uh, deterrent for uh, getting rid of uh, your little starfish. Um, sometimes you got to be careful too. If you have sea urchins in your tank, um, they, they they tend maybe to eat on the the sea urchin. I don't have any sea urchins, and I don't have any other starfish in my tank. Just these little annoying ones. Um, so that's his job. I'm just, just telling you guys they could eat your urchins if you had them, or if you have your fancy. Uh, starfish like your blue starfish or your sand sifting starfish you might not want to put them in there but i don't keep any starfish not crazy about them so i'm gonna i'm gonna drop some little starfish in here we'll see if he eats them i'm not sure so let's just uh this is live we'll see what happens i'm gonna try to get one of my little starfish here and try to drop it in see what happens if i can get it close to him come on starfish all right so i just dropped one starfish in here we'll see if he goes to eat it so there's the aster starfish Let's see if you can get in there and go get them. Oh, he's got them. See that? See that, guys? He's feeding right now. I can bring it in a little closer. Look at that. He's hungry. So that this is how you you get rid of the little starfish in your tank. These guys are awesome. So he's feeding on that little starfish I just threw in there. Look at him. He's working it over. pretty cool so this is a Harlem star uh, Harlem shrimp that likes to eat the little starfish he's just working on that thing just gonna move the container so we can see him better but he's a beautiful beautiful shrimp sometimes you can get like five or six of them in your tank and you just keep feeding them you know they're your pets See what happens if I try to drop another one in. See if he'll double, double whammy them. If I drop another one in there, I doubt it. He's he's working hard on that one. So he's pretty busy, he's pretty uh, happy just with the one uh, starfish we got going on right now. I'm going to take him upstairs right now and we're going to go put him up in the display tank. Um, I just wanted to show you guys in this uh, cylinder, this acrylic cylinder, up close and personal, him uh, feeding on a starfish to show you guys how well this works. 
Um, so let's go upstairs to the main display and we'll put them in and see what happens. So I made it up to the display tank upstairs. So I got the Harlem shrimp here. So I'm going to find a spot for him and hopefully that'll be his new little home. So I got him in the display tank. He just went underneath the ledge here. So just let him rest a bit, his new home. So now he'll be out for the hunt looking for the new starfish. So we just released the Harlem shrimp uh, into the 220 gallon uh, reef tank. So hopefully he'll do his job and uh, eat up all the, the nuisance uh, starfish that I don't want in anymore. It's a good natural way to get rid of them and uh, get a cool little addition to the tank. So I hope you guys liked this episode. Uh, please subscribe, hit the like button, leave a bunch of comments. I'd like to hit you guys back, so you give me some information and give you some information. So thanks for watching tonight guys, bye.